fellow Minecrafters, Gearsaw Studios here. Today I'm going to show 1.17 pre-release 3, the third pre-release for the 1.17 Aves and Cliffs Part 1. If you enjoy this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Now, let's investigate. So, here we are, a familiar site, Mojang's webpage, Minecraft 1.17 pre-release 3, which apparently had a sub-update. Which has done a couple things. Don't forget that June Ace is when Caves and Cliffs Part 1 comes out. Which is 7 days from the date of uploading. So, on every world, it's a small bug. It will say as if it was experimental. Such as if you were to put the 1.18 slash 1.17 Part 2 data pack on it. That will be patched. What they have done is they tweaked. The textures of lit candles. Mobs ramped by goats will no longer retaliate, so now you can keep goats and bees together without losing all your bees. And axe waddles and glow squids now spawn in total darkness, where there's natural stone block less than five blocks below the spawning space. So they're pretty much just going to spawn underground, in deep rivers, or in small water puddles. And they have Fixed a couple of bugs as shown here. So that's all they've done in this pre release. So let's investigate within the game. So they have changed the candle and lit candle sprites. So I'm going in this debug world and I'm going to view all of them. So prepare to slow down the video if you want to see it each and every one. So, that's all the candle models. I definitely think they are a large improvement from the original candle sprite slash models from the original snapshots. So, let's investigate the other things in this pre-release. So, here we have an, an empire of screaming goats. And, as you can see, they are attacking these zombified piglins. And, they are not getting killed. As you saw right there. That zombified piglin was not aggroed onto the goats. Instead, it just minds its own business as it gets rammed repeatedly. So, here we are in the ocean. What used to be completely filled with axolotls and glow squids, now none of it can be seen. Since their new spawning mechanics necessitate that they have to be deep in water, now you'll only see them in underwater caves, and rarely in small water sources deep underground, where there is no light. So, just looking around, you can see there's a lot of soot mobs. Occasionally, you'll see the axolotl or the elusive glow squid, but they're going to be pretty hard to find now. But, in Caves and Cliffs Part 2, they'll be much easier to find with underwater aqua existing. So with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So remember, June 8th is the release date. Take care. Gearsaw 